Vienna, Austria is the home of Paper Republic, an incredible handcrafted notebook and accessory company who incidentally have rather good photography. Hmm. I've been to Vienna a few times to visit Paper Republic. In fact, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you might have seen the vlogs that I made while I was over there the first couple of times. Last year, I was over there creating some videos for them. One was a advert and the other was a crowdfunding video to raise capital investment. And that campaign, with the help of the video, I'm assuming, hit its target within a matter of weeks. What I thought might be a bit more interesting than just a travel vlog featuring me running and drinking copious amounts of coffee is a chat with Jerome, the owner, about the ups and downs and ins and outs of creating a product-centric business and making it into something as successful as Paper Republic has become. for some meetings and for a Christmas party. I'm just gonna go see them now. Okay, let's, let's see how it goes. Yeah, so, I mean, basically the, the start of it is like, I'm coming to Vienna to, mm -hmm. to see you guys. Yes. I've been to Austria once before, mm -hmm. but for only like 20 minutes. Yeah. I drove through from Germany to Switzerland. To Switzerland, yeah. 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 And just like... Must, like must have been very short. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it really was. So I'm, I'm here like, just the third or fourth time? Yeah, maybe the fourth time, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, third time maybe. Just wanted to get you to say a little bit about like what Paper Republic is and mm -hmm. a brief history of it. Ah, okay, well, brief, I don't know if it's it can be <laughs> so brief. Um, yeah, Paper Republic, we are a producer of notebooks. I mean, we don't do many things, but we try to do it well. And our core business, our core passion is to make great notebooks. And this is what we do, and, and I think we do it well. As times go by, the range evolves into more leather accessories as well. So now we are also producing laptop sleeves, we're producing wallets and, and a lot of leather products. But the core business of Paper Republic is paper, and, and this is where we are. So we are a, a brand which is actually producing everything here in Vienna. And our core focus is really to, to, to have the ability to send and stuff directly to customers without uh, relying on, on wholesalers or distributors. So we are directly producing here and then selling it to the customers. So that's where we are. And then and the, the great thing is we have this office in Vienna where we are all together, the, the production, the fulfillment, the marketing, the kitchen, everything. Little but, but nice team of people trying to, to do good things and to do, uh, to do it well as well. I can't remember how long we've been working together now but it's been a while how long ago to pick uh, up? i think it's been five years, five years. Yeah, yeah 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 that sounds about right yeah how how long ago did you start paper public so it started i think uh, exactly 10 years ago actually 10 years ago so it's been quite a long journey when you start a company you don't really know where this, this is gonna go really the first plan was not to end up here yeah did, um, you, did you start it as Something that you thought was going to be a business, or did yeah, yeah um, I mean, you don't, you really, really, really never know where these yeah. things are going. But I think I always had in mind that I want to, to make something bigger and more important than just me doing a few notebooks in my in my cellar and selling it to some people on Etsy. I think that was clear from the beginning. But what the journey would be, uh, I don't think you can you can know. It, no. Um, and this really started as, as a one-man company still, right? So I uh, just produced the first batch of notebook, put this everything in the in the leather. Um, briefcase and then uh, went from retailer to retailer trying to, to sell it to people in, in Germany and Austria. Uh, and I had some, some little success at the beginning. So, so you start there and then start just selling 10, 10 notebooks here and 20 there. Uh, and then, then moving forward like this. How long was it before you saw, like before it changed from being like mm -hmm. just used, selling some stuff to like... We'll say, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll say that the first year were pretty slow in terms of development. But I think you need it at the beginning. You know, like it's, it's like a trial, a company. The first year, like you just you just build the experience, you learn stuff, and you, you feel like there is no progress, or it's just very slow. But actually, you, you learn so much from a lot of things. Um, 
So um, the first year, I would say like until 2000, maybe like 17 or 18, it was just like two or three people maximum. And the big change was for me the decision in 2018 to, to be really to sell only online or mainly online. And from that moment, we Paper Republic really became a different company. We became a, a direct to customer company and, and, and then the growth was really, really strong. And I think it was, it was a mix of, of different factors, like having the right product mix, having the experience about making products, and then finally finding the right way to sell and to market the products. Uh, and then when the three things were together, then we managed to, to, to evolve and, and become a yeah, slightly bigger company, but it's, it's still very small. Along the way, what's the what's like the high point? Or what's the the best thing you've done, or the, the thing that stands out as being something that was like really either mm -hmm. pivotal or or just I don't know, made you made you the most happy? Like what? Uh, for, for me, for me, it's uh, it's the team. Yeah. Having having a team, having been able to build a team, and and feeling the the, the coherence we have between us, and still like f looking at people evolve and develop and and just blossom in the company, taking new tasks, managing new challenges, having success in their professional and private life. For me, that's the, the best and the biggest achievement so far, yeah. for sure, yeah. Opposite of that, <laughs> what's, the, what's the thing that, was there, you know, is there something that was really difficult or was yeah. there something where you just thought, I'm gonna have to pack this <laughs> in? Like, is there ever a time like that? Or has it been, has it been, I mean, you know this, uh, when you have a business, I think every day is difficult, every hire is difficult. Yeah. And, and, and sometimes you just wonder, uh, can, I, can I handle even more problems? Um, but I think it's part of the game, right? So, so to handle low points in, in the business, if you don't want it, then you won't have the highest yeah. either. Uh, for, me, for me, one of the main things where the company was about really to, to have big problems were, uh, I think it was 2020 something, like it was the beginning of COVID or it was, it was the first COVID years. And then we had actually a fantastic year in terms of business. A lot of people were just buying online. Uh, we were still a pretty small company in the other office and we were not prepared for this amount of orders and growth. And the process were not there. Uh, we were all wearing masks. So it was the sanitary um, situation was very difficult. It was a lot of pressure on a lot of people and we were absolutely overwhelmed with orders and, and, and things. So, so we ended up like working on Saturday and Sunday, punching leather, having boxes of things here and there. And at some point you just, you just lost. So we had a backlog of, I don't know, like two weeks of orders. And then Christmas was coming and we had to ship and everything and then couldn't work any, anymore because the post was not working because of COVID. And, and it started just to, to, to go really wrong. But we manage it and now is the time where we remind it like when we have some stress or it's just too much with sister. Just remember how it was November 2020 and then everything seems fine. Lots of people want to start businesses. Is there a piece of advice that you'd give to someone mm -hmm. you're, you're what, a decade into it now? Mm -hmm. uh, is there a bit of advice that you'd tell yourself when you were starting out? Mm -hmm. don't, don't, don't think too much. Just do stuff. Just, just do it. Yeah, just, just go for it. Do it. Yeah. Don't think about the theory or whatever. It's more, more important to do something wrong than not to do something right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, do it. <laughs> just do it, just, yeah. just, just move on and, 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 and test it, try it, do it again. And if it's not perfect, it, it means it's the good thing. And then you will do it better next time and even better the time after. Yeah. So always, always do. Business is about doing stuff yeah. and, and enjoying doing stuff and making mistakes and redoing it and, and, and keeping the focus on, on doing stuff. That's, that's so important. So it's just, just try it. Just believe in yourself and yeah, you will, you will make it. That's yeah. the, 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 the end that I'm Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, that's about all I, all I wanted to ask you. Thank you so much, Sean. Uh, yeah. And, and uh, yeah, once again, I think the cooperation we've, we've had together is, is so instrumental in, in, in who Paper Republic is. Uh, I think the visual identity of, of a company is, is, is as important as the products. And, 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 and I'm so happy we've managed to develop that together. And uh, it's, I think the result is, is, is super nice yeah. and I really enjoy it. Yeah. And now I'm going to get someone to show me around the, uh, the office. The office. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Thank you, Jerome. Thank you.
huge thanks has to go out to Jerome and the whole Paper Republic family. Jerome was awesome for sharing some of his insights from a decade of running Paper Republic. One thing that he suggested I do is to document one of the many shoots we do every month and share the process in the form of a video. Partly because the whole thing is pretty much a mystery to him and the team over there and also because it could be really interesting for you guys to see. Hopefully I can put it, hopefully I can put that together now that I have this beautiful new studio space with a bit more room to work in. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Laters.